Hello and welcome to the final betting picks video of the regular season. We got the Tr Detroit Lions, that was hard to say, taking on the Green Bay Packers on Sunday Night Football. I'm your host, Matthew Amato, joined here by Jacob Wayne and Jason Gilbo, all for lineups.com. This game is win and in for the Green Bay Packers. Detroit Lions have to wait and see if the Seattle Seahawks win their game, which makes you think, why isn't Detroit playing at the same time as Seattle? And the reason is money. The NFL is greedy. Shocker. Jason, how are you feeling about the five-point spread? Obviously, I feel like all of us handicappers are a little wary bet betting this game early because Detroit could or could not have something to play for. I think regardless of the way Dan Campbell's built this culture, they're going to be trying. But it's hard to argue there isn't going to be a difference in how hard you're trying when you're playing for the playoffs and when you're playing just to uh, ruin Aaron Rodgers' day. Yeah, that's the hard part is just knowing that there's preliminary stuff that is going to unfold before we we're, before we even get to this game. Um, I'm probably going to be on the lines either way. It's just the thing is, you know, you're going to get a better number um, if Seattle, you know, ends up winning. Um, just because I do think that we'll see the Packers line move move up towards that. But obviously, that's a small window. Um, but for me, I, I really do think the Lions can contend in this game. Um, you know, it is a road game for, for Jared Goff where we've seen him struggle at times, but I'm not really particularly worried. I think he's shown enough to me this year, even on the road in some situations, that I just feel fine with him being a quarterback in the spot and just performing fairly average. Um, I do think they can have some, some rushing success. Um, I mean, we saw them kind of really lean into it in that, that earlier Packers game, and that was kind of a spot where I also feel like DeAndre Swift wasn't as healthy, and he finally got going last week. So, you know, if we're going to utilize him, obviously it's going to be a good spot. Uh, to attack this Packers defense, who we, we do like to attack with the ground game. Um, but on the other side, I mean, you know, I'm I'm still not completely sold uh, really on the Packers. Uh, I mean, yes, you know, they've won four straight against, you know, the Bears, Rams, a, a weird Miami game, and then obviously Minnesota at home, which, I mean, we're well aware of how we feel about Minnesota at this point. Um so I'm not just super high that they're going to run away with this spot, whether Seattle wins or not. Um, it's it's plus five now on DraftKings. I'd be fine taking that if you want to bet early. But I, my full suggestion is just wait on this spot. Um, and I think you can get get a better number. I think if you're looking to bet the Packers, then I would bet them obviously now, just because I wouldn't really want to wait around and see this thing kind of creep up to probably plus a, over a touchdown. So that's kind of my plans for how to attack this game. But I think I'm going to be on the lines regardless here. Yeah. I, I, I'm leaning towards being with you, Jason, before I send it over to Jacob. I wasn't able to defend my Minnesota Vikings because we've been having storms up here in the Bay Area. It didn't have power. Um, not much to defend about that performance, but what I will say is the Vikings were a lot worse than the Packers were good in that game. And I think the way that game played out is giving you a value here on the Detroit Lions at plus five. I feel like this line would have been three, maybe even two and a half if you didn't see the blowout the way you did against Minnesota, and a lot of the reasons it was a blowout was Minnesota's fault. I mean, the interceptions, the horrible special teams play, the not having the right cleats for an outdoor game at Lambeau when you've been playing the Packers for 70,000 years now is just idiotic and weird. Um, and due to all those reasons, it wasn't, you know, a seven-point game, an eight-point game, a 14 It was just destruction, and uh, it made the Packers look like a good football team. Uh, I'm with you, Jason. I just don't buy it at this point in time. I don't think that offense is that skilled. I do think Christian Watson's scary for this Detroit defense, but uh, I think Detroit on the other side of the ball with Goff, the way Swift played last week, they could definitely keep up. Um, I don't think this Packers offense is tremendously special. I am worried the fact that it's a night game at Lambeau. You're adding in that cold weather. You're once again going to have a slippery surface, um, and we're going to see if the Lions bring the right cleats. So, Jacob, you jumping on that side, or are you going with Rodgers? No, I, I will be on the Lions here. Um, fully agree with Jason, though, about the, the line movement. Um, man, I, I don't know if you'll see it get over a touchdown. That'd be sweet. Um, I think my, my goal is to get a six in the market. I mean, I think that, that's a great number. Um, I think there's a chance the Lions win this game outright, regardless of what happens in the Seattle game. Uh, I'm wearing my, my old school Rams hat, hoping that uh, the Rams pull off a win so our Lions can get the playoffs here. But, um, yeah, I, I totally agree, Matt. I think the Packers have play better for sure but have also taken advantage of a relatively beneficial schedule here um they play the bears and the rams two you know pretty terrible teams and then the dolphins in that game were i mean they were on their way to 
potentially blowing the Packers out. And I'm somebody who bet on the Packers in that game, and I, I was kind of scared. And, you know, to, we know now that Tua suffered a concussion, and the, the wheels kind of went off the rails for the, for the Dolphins in that game. And then, um, like you talked about in that uh, Vikings game, it was all about the turnovers. Um, the Packers have won the turnover battle by a sizable margin the last two weeks. And, you know, we, we, like, we like to talk about Jared Goff in, in the snow and the rain and the bad weather, whatever. I don't really think they're going to be winning the turnover battle like that this week. Um, this Lions offense is healthy. They have some of the best skill position talent in in the league, and you know, I, I, th- I think uh, Ben Johnson, that offense coordinator, is showing like he's one of the better play callers in the league as well. So I think the Lions get enough done on offense. I think their defense is still very vulnerable, and you know, on, on, on the same token, like you can say that that Justin Fields injury, which clearly hampered him in the second half, um, made the do- made the Lions defense look better than it actually is. So I, I think you could see you know points either way here. I just think you're getting a good number for the Lions here that. Could turn into a great number depending on how the the afternoon games go, but I wouldn't be shocked if the Lions win this game outright, even if the Seahawks pull off the win in the afternoon. Well, there we go. Um, Jason, over unders forty nine. The team totals are twenty one and a half for the Lions. Packers at twenty seven and a half. This feels on paper like it should be an offensive game. Um, again, the fact that this is at in Lambeau on the Sunday night, not the worst temperatures ever. It's going to be around 30 degrees. It makes me a little cautious about going with an over, but uh, do you have any leans there? Um, I don't. I think it's kind of a perfectly placed number, to be honest. Um, my issue with taking the over is just like, Green Bay. I like The defense of the, of the Lions can offset some of this a bit, but like Green Bay's red zone offense just continues to be something that I just don't love. Um, and I think we can obviously continuously see you know longer drives and things like that where they don't actually turn into points. And I know we talk about this a lot in college football when we start getting into the 60s and 70s where all of a sudden if a couple drives you know don't land, that under is going to hit pretty quickly. And that's kind of how I feel about this game. Like, I could all of a sudden just, it's end of first quarter and it's 3 nothing, you know, despite so a couple long drives. So that's kind of my worry with it. Yet, you know, with the Lions defense, do I ever feel safe with an under? Definitely not, so I wouldn't really probably look that way either. Um, I think, if anything, like, maybe looking at some team totals if you're really interested in betting on this spot. Um, but, uh, honestly, I, I think everything's kind of perfectly placed for a total where I'm just kind of staying away. All fair points. I I tend to agree. I, I'm scared by that 49 number. Again, if you replace... Not that Jerry Goff's been bad. I think he's been fantastic this year. But if you give me just a slightly better quarterback for the Lions, I would be tempted to hit this over. It just... But like, 27-20 still hits the under. You know, and I kind of... It's hard no, for exactly. me to see that game kind of really escalating into, like, this 30-30 to type shootout. No, you're right. I think... Honestly, I take back my comment. Jerry Goff's been fine. I, I think it's just hard to get there regardless. But I I can't really... This is very similar to... Oh, I'm forgetting the game now. But a game last week where I said... The over is definitely not the play, but I can't hit the under because my heart won't let me. And uh, that game actually ended up going over. I just, again, can't even remember what it was. I just remembered to talk about it in my notes. But Jacob, your turn. Yeah, I, I would say I definitely lean under. Um... I'm not gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna actually play it, but um, these are the Packers are a team that ranks um, I think fourth fourth worst in, in pace of play. So you're gonna see them not not going you know no huddle offense too often here. And then on the Lions side, I, I think they are well aware of Goff's struggles on the road, struggles against you know better pass defenses. And uh, like Jason talked about earlier, this this Packers run defense has been very vulnerable, 31st in DVOA. So I think you're going to see the Lions with a fairly run-heavy approach here. And add in the fact that you're looking at a primetime game between two divisional opponents with playoff berths on the line. And, yeah, I, I definitely think the under is probably the play. Um, not sure if I'll make it official, though. Yeah, a little bit of a shout-out to Patrick. We got an interdivisional matchup on a primetime game at the end of the season in Lambeau. Like, this betting trend slash... You know, external factors all lead to the fact that 49 should be way too high of a number. Um, but Detroit, man, I mean, this team has just been cranking out overs over the course of yeah. the season. 
All right, I think that's it from Team Bets. Anything else you want to talk about, Jason? Uh, no, nothing. I mean, definitely just re-encourage if you're kind of waiting to sit around. You know, definitely don't feel bad about not placing a bet early. Um, like I said, if you're kind of expecting Seattle to win, you expect the Packers. I mean, I, that's where I would grab it now. Um, otherwise, if you're looking to bet the Lions, I think you can probably wait a little bit. Jacob? Not same bet for me. Um, I'm just hoping for... Well, I mean, I mean, I'm hoping for a Rams win, um, but I'm hoping for a good game regardless here, and I think we're going to get it. Yep. So, Jacob hates Geno Smith and everybody in Seattle. You heard it here first. Geno gets a, a $2 for- million dollar incentive bonus if, if the Seahawks make the playoffs, so he'll be a big Lions fan if, if they pull off the win during the day. <laughs> we, we got the... Oh, my God. What's, I forgot the outro. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button <laughs> if you like this video. Comment down below your favorite bets. Um, Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. We're going to be covering the NFL playoffs, all playoffs long. We'll be doing two videos for every single game, player props and betting picks. Just like this game, you can check out the player prop video of this game right now. It's on Lineups' YouTube channel. We're also going to start doing more NBA content, and as college football wraps up, we'll start with some of our draft content. That's kind of the non-betting stuff we do on this channel, and it's some of our favorite content to do. So if you're looking forward to that, again, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'll see you for the next one very soon.